Another week, information station, man. Shakers in the building, man. With my nigga from Mel's Peters, man. Why I hate, man. This week is why I hate, man. Find you something to do, man. All that time you spend on hating on me or another nigga you don't like or whatever. The question is why hate. What's up, man? You feel me? It's your boy Pint. You feel me? CEO founder of this boy hate this movement that we got going. I mean, we've been pushing for about a good three, four years now, you know what I'm saying? We had a store out there in Modesto, if you heard about the hot spot. We was on True Ticket too, you know what I'm saying? We were selling the clothes. So we was like, man, let me come up with I came up with a slogan, started putting it on the t-shirts, making it happy, you know what I'm saying? That's a positive slogan. Why I hate, you know what I'm saying? Everybody else is loving haters right now. I'm questioning haters. I'm in the brain of a hater. Like, what's going on in your brain? I can't love a hater right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. I can't. I don't see why I can love you. You feel me? I just want to sit you down. Maybe if I got to, talk to you and just ask you that question. Like, why is you hating on me? You know what I'm saying? That's You're very... We don't understand. Why are you hating? Right now, you are mad at me because I'm doing my thing. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know why. Shit, I don't know. Anyway, this this is for the niggas who's trying to do t-shirts and clothing. You know, I used to work with a guy from, you know, Timberland when I first started out with my shades, and he told me anybody can make a t-shirt, anybody can make product, but the number one thing is placing. You feel me? That's just some, that's just some game I'm gonna get to y'all. Number one thing is placing. Product placement. You feel me? Basically, uh, man, I've been doing like everybody else in this industry, you know what I'm saying? I started off with, you know what I'm saying, having a studio at the house, doing the music thing, you feel me? We was doing the, pushing the CDs out the trunk, pressing them up, you know what I'm saying? Me and my boys all day, you feel me? Freddie Hot Sauce was there, you know what I'm saying, since way back in the day. Y'all know, we was doing all pushing the music, you know what I'm saying? And then that kind of slowed down a little bit, man. We was putting a lot, I was putting a lot of effort in there, and I wasn't getting back what I, I felt like I was putting in, you know what I'm saying? So it was like, I linked up with, uh, I moved an hour away from the Bay. I was in the, I'm from the South Bay, so I moved an hour away to a city, Modesto, you know what I'm saying? We call it Guap City, Modesto, California, you know what I'm saying? It was, you know what I'm saying? This was like five, six years ago, you feel me? So, no, this about, shoot, about 10, eight, nine years ago, I moved out there, you know what I'm saying? So Modesto, this is like an hour away from the Bay. They're a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Not say slow, but they just, their game was just a, a different way. They wanted to, you feel me? They were on a whole different, a different type of game. I hooked up with my guy, uh, Dave out there, and we uh, we opened up a clothing store called The Hot Spot. You feel me? It was called The Hot Spot. Like I said, it was on True TV too. You know what I'm saying? We was messing with uh, all the Bay Area cats, all this, Mr. Fab. You feel me? Gary Archer. Everybody was coming through promoting their stuff. You feel me? We had an outlet for all the people that uh, was coming through. Shake slid through. You know what I'm saying? He, he slid through, dumping off his promotional stuff. We was all out there uh, pushing. You know what I'm saying? I came up with the slogan like, man, like why is people hating me? You know what I'm saying? So I told my boy Shitty, you know what I'm saying, the boo man back here, you feel me? I told him one day, because he used to work at the store too all day. We ran the store, me and Shitty. You feel me? Uh, he was like, man, that shit's hot, nigga. We should put that shit on a shirt. So we put that shit on a shirt, threw it on the racks, you know what I'm saying? With the Sean John, with the Rock Aware, with the Jabos. And that shit was selling faster than the Jabo stuff. So I'm like, hold on, okay. You feel me? I got something here. People were wearing the shirts, you know what I'm saying? On the front, it's just saying why hate. And on the back, I was comparing it to like a disease or an epidemic, you know what I'm saying? So when you go on the back, it's saying like attention. Hating is a disease that's spreading through the streets, you feel me, of, of America. So I'm like, basically, I was like, if you wear this T-shirt, it's like you helping out anybody that's infected with the disease, you feel me? But before they get infected, they see in your shirt and they're like, why hate? Yeah, man, but why am I hating, you know what I'm saying? So that's where I came when I was like, that shit gotta go, you know what I'm saying? So every time I gave a T-shirt out, I was getting a phone call from people like, you know what I'm saying? Yo, man, I get a t-shirt, people would stop me up in stores, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, that shirt's dope, you feel me? Like, uh, you feel me? I come through, an old lady would stop me, you know what I'm saying? A, a, a young kid would stop me, like, man, where you get that shirt? So I was like, man, I gotta keep pushing it. So I started, you feel me, just pressing more shirts, you know what I'm saying? I started hitting the Raider games, you know what I'm saying? Hitting up the 49er games, you feel me? We're hitting all the concerts, you know what I'm saying? But I know I had to intertwine it with the music still, you know what I'm saying? So that's why we, I still got artists like, you feel me, Freddie Hot Sauce, Politic, you know what I'm saying? And my boy Jeep, you feel me? So we still pushing that and intertwining with the shirts, you know what I'm saying? So you might get a t-shirt and a CD at the same time. We put some stuff in chic, so if the people love it, you know what I'm saying, they gonna put that big money behind us, and you know what I'm saying, and get it down. But uh, we just grinding on a day-to-day -day hustle. Every day I'm trying to get it to all the stars. We in, uh, we in Hollywood functions, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to shoot them to uh, many, many people as possible, take pictures with the people wearing the shirts, you know what I'm saying? We did, uh, another big thing we did is I went out to the inauguration. For the, uh, for the, for the, yeah, for the president thing, we brought, I went out there, pressed up the Y8 Obama. They had Y8 with Obama's face on there, and we went out there with four of my soldiers. You feel me? Like me, politic, my boy John too, 
and my boy Isaiah from Houston. We shook out there, you feel me? It was like 10 degree weather out there grinding, really grinding though, you feel me? We got video footage, all that, you know what I'm saying? Really grinding out there and people was loving it. Like, yeah, okay, we feeling it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody else just had regular Obama shit, but we had like Obama shit that meant something, you feel me? Yeah. I was like, okay, yeah, it was like, cause people was hating on him. So like, that was an experience. Once we did that, you feel me? I was like, man, I gotta get out. So I've been out of town, out of state, just shaking, just trying to push it worldwide, you feel me? But, and I'm still representing the Bay all the way, you feel me? So it's like, and it's Cali, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm just, that's where it comes to right now. So basically you've been cashing off of one T, one slogan. Yeah, one slogan, one T, different colors, you know what I'm saying? Basically, you feel me? Cause it's more like right now, I'm like, it's not the t-shirt or the design. I got a good, it's a good thick t-shirt no matter what. It ain't no like the little slim stuff. When you put it in the wash, it's gonna it's like straight up. Yeah. yeah, it's the good thick tee. So most of us know you'll see, you'll see them wearing them out. You'll see somebody wearing an old YA shirt. Like, damn, that was from a while ago, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And plus it means something. So it's more like a t-shirt would've worth a thousand words, you feel me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Rather than just wearing a, a white tee, you might as well just throw the YA hate on there, you feel me? And, and, and it's a, it got a meaning, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. So eventually, you know what I'm saying, once we get a little bit more finances, we're going to twist it up, you know what I'm saying, get the jeans cracking off, you know what I'm saying, the hoodies, you feel me, the hats, you feel me, the socks, the baby clothes, you feel me, we got the kids stuff, you feel me, you know what I'm saying, we're going to do for the kids, because you know, people be hating sloppy, dirty kids, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, we got the ladies, you feel me, all you sexy ladies, I know y'all be getting hated on, you feel me, all you big, you know, short, small, tall, you feel me, that's how it goes. You feel me? So we just, you know what I'm saying, trying to incorporate it, baby. Well, I hate, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't need to hate, man. Find something to do, man. Invest your money into it and cash out committee. You feel, you feel me? me? I'm, I mean, have you made a lot of, I know I made a lot of money, y'all yeah, say. Yeah. Fuck what niggas talking about. Yeah, I made a lot of money. I'm going to keep it real. We've sold about 10,000 shirts in the streets. I'm keep telling it real. You can go city to city. We just got a phone call right now and someone's seen him wearing it in Oregon. You feel me? So that's like, you know what I'm saying? It's pushing. I get a lot of response from it. So it's not really the money right now. If I had an accountant, I could keep it real. I probably had stacks of more money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But I've made the money, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's more as the response I'm getting, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and the, the different avenues that I'm getting into because I've been grinding hard, you feel me? Like messing with you, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And fucking messing with my boy Gary Archer, you know what I'm saying? For doing all that stuff like that. Just different networks and stuff, different avenues you get to, you feel me? So it's like, I know, it's like I'm, when I did it, I'm like, you gotta invest off top. So it's like, I'm shooting for the long term, you feel me? Because yeah, yeah. I've already been grinding now. It's like, if that ain't working, something gotta work, shit. You feel yeah. me? <laughs> Motherfucker eating. He ain't got a yeah. clock in and nothing yeah. no Monday yeah. morning. Wake up when he wants to. Yeah, like, like JT said in that one video. I'll yeah. send 10 to 10 t shirts a day. You feel me? I'm good. Yeah. Five, five to 10, and that's, I can make a living. Can't hate on that, man. <laughs> Nigga, independent, man. Get his, man. And he in a big chain. He in chic all through California. So get your bars up, man. That's big, you feel me? That every it's hella chic store, chic store in Fresno, yep. chic store in the Bay, yeah, they get chic big in LA. They, the warehouse. they had a map on their thing like. Oh it yeah, like, so it's gonna be <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> they try to take over. This feel me? They getting bigger. They gonna go bigger. Hey man, <laughs> this rap shit may not pan out for the, most of you niggas. So <laughs> you might want to start getting into shirts and you know different things to do, man. You know I keep trying to tell y'all every week, man. It's more than just CDs, man. Just make sure it's original. Original, original you feel saying. me? Make Be sure authentic with your you know shit, saying. man. Just make sure it's original. So I don't want to see nobody with shirts that say, uh, stop hating on me. That's biting. It's only one white hate nigga. That's my nigga. And let him, you know, let him put your shirt out. That's the, you know, that's the, the reasonable thing to do. You know, a lot of you niggas be hating and shit. Yeah, he got a, now you know how he cashing out. So now you're going to run to your little Asian friend or somebody and try to make you a little shirt. Why you hating on me? Nah, motherfucker. He, he said he been doing it for five years. You feel, feel me? So it take years to build your shit up yeah, the church out, man. You know what I'm talking about? It didn't come. So, you know, it is what it is, man. If they want to order some shit, where can they uh, hit you at? So you can go to uh, MySpace, you know, Freddy Hot Sauce, he run all the MySpace, all the computers, he do that sickness, he do all that. So you can go to the uh, MySpace backslash Wahe Clothing. The, uh, you can go to the Twitter backslash Wahe. You know what I'm saying? Or you can go to our website and just link all that together, you know what I'm saying? And go to whyhateme.com. That's, you know what I'm saying? Whyhateme.com, you know what I'm saying? Can so they buy good. them online? You can buy them online right now. Order them, you know what I'm saying? Put your order in, you feel me? Say what size you want, color, you know what I'm saying? Right now we pushing more with the t-shirts because it's hot, you feel me? So when winter comes around, we're going to have the hoodies, the long sleeves, the jackets, and all that stuff. So you want you basically get you a little collar, you know what I'm saying? Get you in the club like right now, you feel me? Yeah. Or, uh, you know what I'm saying? And a uh, white tee. And the ladies, we got the uh, tank tops, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? The shirt, little tight shirts, you feel me? So they can pop up the titties, you know? It's good, dude. You feel me? Keep them hating. <laughs> you know what I mean? It is what it is, man. Another week, another dollar, man. Like I say, man, find something productive and positive to do, man. Don't hate, man. A lot of you niggas is mad at these blogs. You can't stop this shit. I'm going to keep Why? coming every week with a different nigga because it's always somebody that's working. And I promote the workers, man. So once again, the question is, 
Why hate, man? There's no need for this, man. I'm not gonna, I'm like Puff Daddy in this vlog shit. I ain't gonna stop. <laughs> I'm not gonna stop, man. It is what it is, man. Put God first. Everything else will happen, man. Another week, another dollar. Peace.